Hi, this is Frank Trek here. I've got another ship to show you this week. It's one that I've been wanting to show for a while, but I just wanted to get all the stuff on it first. It is the Advanced Obelisk Carrier. Now, everybody I think got the free version. Uh, cool ship, not bad. You know, I uh, decided to go for the advanced one so I could actually see the three piece set working. Um, so, there it is, that's the third piece of the puzzle. So, you go for that, everybody got that for free, and you got that for free. The other stuff that I've got on here at the moment, these are the ones that I've been getting before I show the ship. Uh, it's the Dyson ones, shield, engine, deflector. So I wanted to get them three pieces to show you because when I take it up into space you'll see how cool it looks. They're not massive shields. Uh, the obelisk itself comes with a really big hull to start off with which is I think just over 47,000, I think 47,800, something like that. Um, which I'll show you when we go up into space. I've got it much higher than that and I can take it even more higher than that. But we'll see that when we go up. Uh, the front end it's a fleet dual beam anti proton. We've got the proton weapon there from the three set, which goes with. I think it's the. Yeah, that's the three set for that. It's that one, that one, and that one, which most of you will have anyway. So we've got at the moment one th three set, two, th two three sets and that's another three sets, so we've got three three sets on at the moment and don't leave home without it, which is the simulated module go for that, and I go for that all the time on all my ships that does a lot of damage, plus it's 360 which is really good uh, I like that a lot as well, because that's got the same degrees as that that's really good the only thing is I would love to have like two of them. Um, so yeah, I've gone for most of the, well, all of the dice and rep stuff. The only thing that I'm missing is the warp core, which I wanted to get the three set bonus of this. So I might end up going for the warp core yet. Um, I have started off. Uh, I think, yeah, you get the reflective shielding on there. Which would be pretty cool, so I'll probably carry on the rip on that and get that to put with that, but... That's in time. So yeah, at the moment, we've got them on. Showed you them, that everybody knows that. It's this one here. Now this is in the devices on the very rare. Uh, this will tank out your ship on most ships. A bit pricey, but they are good. I've bought one there to show you what I can take this hull up to. Um, so we've got some extra power there for the UPS flow. Uh, turn rate kinetic damage. The simulating module. There we go, the cascade admitter, which is really cool. It's the the console to go with them too. This one I've stuck on. Uh, simple reason is it gives me an extra 17% and gives me an extra 15.22 critical sensitivity. So that's the reason behind me just lobbing that on there. Um, we've only been able to put two fleet anti-protons on. Uh, I wanted a bit more punch, if you will. Uh, I've had to put two of these on. I'll show you why when I go in space. Because the shield is a little bit lacking. Security teams. But the regen on it is amazing. Uh, and I also wonder, I don't know whether everybody knows this. Uh, I have only just found out because I've only just got the set. But I've always wondered, when I go into space, I've seen all these ships white, and I always thought it was a custom design. 
uh, I was in my Ferengi ship yesterday, the decor, and I thought, I'll give it a try with these shields on, chuck these on, straight away, why, really impressed. So that was pretty cool. Uh, so, carrying on, we've got the two anti-protons down at the bottom, and these are off the mission. Um, I actually had to watch a YouTube video to see how to do it myself. So, yeah, you get them free. The Fleet Spire does have them, depending on what you've got. These will do me for the moment, because it's a ship that I like, but it's not a ship that I use often. But it is a pretty cool ship. Uh, I think I got it for around about the... I think it was 98 million. I got it off somebody in the Starbase. Uh, I've had a lot before, I think they're at about 119 at the moment. But you can, the free one's just as good. This gives you a bit more tank. Um, you get a third piece to the puzzle, uh, which you'll see in action when we go into the PVEs. Um, there's not a massive lot of customization to be done on it. Uh, the bridges as you've seen before if you own one, which I should imagine most of you do. I can't see anybody not owning the freebie one. Now that on there, the it's glowing there, you'll see it better in space. It's because of the shield. But everybody knows the bridge, there's no difference in the bridge from the free one to one that you buy. Obviously. Where's the windows? Um, what else have we got? Same. Patterns, you can put a few different patterns on but I doubt you'll be able to see them that good. So that's that there. There's not a massive lot I can actually show you there. Um, I don't think there's any point in showing you the bridge because, like I say, everybody's had one, everybody's got one. So what we'll do, we'll go straight up into space. I'll show you the differences with the shield off and the shield on. I like it with the shield on. Um, it's probably not the best move, you could go for a lot higher shield capacity on it or whatnot, but this is what I've chose to put on just to show you. So, as you can see, these zones going around there and on there. There you go, you can see it lighting up a bit there. Over. Still got the lines on there, still got the little blue dots on it and that, but say so you can see the difference as soon as you put it on there. You know that's really cool, really nice. I do like that a lot. we've got to show you. Right, so now we're in space. I can show a bit more. Transfer power, not fantastic at the moment. Uh, I could put the... that on, that would give me a lot more, the zero point. Let's say I've put that on for a reason. So, I need to keep that on. Let's take it off, see what it goes down to. 11, so yeah, it needs to be on so that's transfer rate. If it had four and four beams firing all at the same time, I'd have to put something different on to keep the power up for your shields, for your weapons. Right, so at the moment we're going on a 68,500. Which is pretty impressive. So if I was that there, I think takes up 500. See if that goes down a little bit in a minute. There we go. And plus, on the attack as well, it will go up. There we go. It goes up on that. We 
goes up on that so it gives you a little bit more and then you can put an RC on there the other one's for kinetic damage that should take it up a little bit further not massively but a little bit at least when it decides to go up there we go <coughs> that I'll show you in a minute we'll do that one as soon as we start going into battle now that should take it well into the 70s so the attack at the moment is what 16 there 6.4 there accuracy 23.5 which is overall pretty good see the defense there we'll put that one back on because I want the kinetic damage off that just to go up a little bit so that's that bit um, just trying to think all the stuff to show you on the stations here we go universal at the top universal underneath there so for the bottom half it's three on the science for engineering two tactical layer so for that one I decided to put an extra engineering on and the top one an extra tactical just seemed to make sense at the time I say it might not be all load out you might totally put a bit more engineering on there or a bit more science you know but that's my load out at the moment so that's how I like it that's how I've flown it at the moment it seems pretty good now with carriers your pets are the ones that do a lot of the work with being just three on three you're not going to be producing that much power similar to a science ship um, I've got the Wells science ship uh, that's three on three but it has a lot of uh, science abilities with the gravity wells, tire and rift, stuff like that. So as much as you can give up front, you can give a lot more in the science abilities, which is pretty cool. So the pets do the most work. So just try and get the best ones that you can. They're just the freebie ones. They're advanced, which is pretty cool. Um, on my Gemadar at the moment, I've done the Romulan Reputation. Um, and I got the have a look these ones here the elite scorpion fighters amazing they are absolutely fantastic and until I get the gem dar bug they'll be the ones staying on there for a the moment uh, on my Romulan it's a full Romulan build and I have them at the bottom fighting and the amount of plasma torpedoes that you coming out of them is just ridiculous but anyway these are really really good these will do most of your work if you want to stay back a bit uh, from the cube and send these in first it does the job um, you know give them a little helping hand fire a few you've got it and it will hold its own but at the moment I've got it with quite a low shield But I just wanted to show what it was like with a lot of the different sets on it. Uh, everybody else each to their own. This is just stuff from the Dyson Rep that I decided to, why not, chuck it all on. It's from the Dyson Rep. So, there we go. And as I say, it's, it's a pretty cool looking ship. I like it, it's just that I don't use it often enough. I've got my favourites, which are uh, the Jemadar, the Gela. Uh, stuff like that um, the new Undine ship I like them at the moment um, so this one gets put on a bit of a back burner so let's see it in a bit of a uh, action get into a bit of PVE action hopefully should get into a couple of good ones see how she does uh, if you really like the free one and you want the third part and you want more hull and you want more tanking go for it highly recommend it 
portraying, depending on what tier your fleet's at for the Spire, get the elite versions. The advanced ones are good, the elite ones will be even better. So that's all I can say about that. Uh, so we'll see how it does in a bit of action. Whether I die or we manage to get a good game out of it, it's yet to be seen. Hopefully, these pets do a lot of work for me, especially in this carrier. The only good thing about this shield, yeah, very, very low, but the region on it is really, really good. Yeah, that's what I wanted to show you before I just go any more quickly. Right, I'm going to use this here. Come on, there we go. Eighty three thousand hull. That's friggin' ridiculous. Now, what ship can you get to give you that sort of hull? Now, a lot of people will be able to take this a lot better than I can. Uh, Say it's not a ship that I use all the time, but I've seen these ships being demolished. And the Cascade of the Terror. And that one comes with the three piece shield, though. which is pretty cool. Get all your pets on these things, and they're going to do a lot more damage for you. That's a special ability of the shield. I think it's only one second so often that we come on. See if there's a cascade of knitting. I see it spinning around there. Shift it things around. Oh, there we go. I can see it firing. Is it showing you not what's going on? Uh, it's about keeping yourself alive or keeping on what's going on. Let's try it a little bit more. Right. 
enable the tanking hull. 8,000. Really fast. Well, this is where it probably be better taking some of them off and probably put on the um, more science or engineering abilities on there. Distance to be able to use this. It does do some damage, but not like mega loads, but you know, every bit helps. Pets that don't die as quick and listen to these things are just rocking for the fun of it. Probably should be broadside a lot more than a man, so.
start coming back up. That's it. wasn't the best run that I must admit but hopefully we do better in the next one I was speaking away there without having a mic on did I even realise just having a drink of summer right 
still pretty low on that, but maybe I could do uh, engineering three on there. It's probably another buff I'll have to look out for. But we'll jump into another one. See how it goes. We did blow up, which is very good news. Struggle to stay alive. Um, but that's me talking and playing at the same time, not concentrating on what I'm doing. Um, then again, this is what I'm out to show you. Is the ship and everything. So we'll try this one. See how we go on this. Hopefully, I ain't got that big red pulsar on me. You know, hit Frank, hit Frank, everything killed. Hopefully, this time I managed to get the ship to do what I needed to do. stayed alive this time. See where everybody's going. Is he going to the side? He's off over there. He's off on probes. how useful these pets are. You can see the carrier they gonna do a lot of work for you. And we've got a dish utilizing.
specified. This would probably work a lot better with a lot bigger shield on it. Uh, as you can see, I'm going down quite fast on the shield on the pole. You would have thought, with it being such a big shield, uh, low shield, you would have done a lot bigger one for the reputation, I would have supposed. Uh, considering it's a um, I think it's 1.1 the shield on this. So you would have thought maybe convert shield. But then again I suppose the amount of time it takes to get these things charged back up. Change at the moment. I don't know if anybody has one or 
know somebody that's got one that I can buy, that'd be much appreciated. I only managed to get all the EC together for one. Um, it's one of the ships that I really, really want at the moment. Um, I was looking at the Voth Dreadnought, but um, it's similar to this. Um, where, but I suppose where this has got like two hangar bays, that's only got the one. And you only get two tactical consoles with it, which I find pretty pants. So, I'm going for the Germadar bug. One, I get to fly the ship. Two, I get to use the pets. So, it works the best. I've looked at a few of uh, the cloth of Norton, and I'm just not over sold on it. Not saying that I won't get one, it's just for a dreadnought with only two tactical consoles, I can't really call it a dreadnought. Dreadnought to me is some uh, you know, it looks good, it fights good, it can stand up to a lot, it doesn't take much to take down summer, it's it's a frontline machine. And both dreadnought just isn't. So it's I think it's got five engineering, uh, four science, two tactical. She yeah, it's handy to have the um, engineering the way it is, but yeah, I'm not oversold on that one. Especially not for the price, it's that. There's a lot better curriculums out there than that one itself. But yeah, that's my next one. So if anybody knows that I've got one, uh, I'm not going to pay stupid money for it. Where some people ask me like 600 and a million, I'll pay what they go for on the exchange. Which I think is around just under 400 million or 500 million. Not stupid, stupid money. Or the gem dark books they got my little ones going around the top and see mine going around at that tiny. But they're there. Swarming. It's pretty cool. So that's that one done. So that's um, two that we've been through. We went the best runs for me. Um the ship itself is good. Um, I've showed you most of the different sets that you can get from the Dyson range. Um, also the three piece set now uh, that you get with it. Um, you've seen how high these things go. Uh, it's obviously gone off at the moment. It's not on there. Um, but yeah, the, the overall ship is good. Um, I probably could mix that out for some admitters, shield admitters, or somewhere else. Better shield, probably a bit better stuff all the way around. Um, I don't know where you go up to with that on. God, that gives it a weird look. Very weird. That takes up to uh, what, 15, 150 regen. Regen on its pants though. So that's the adapted. Adapted slightly higher, slightly better on regen. Yeah, you, you can do a lot with the ship. Uh, probably a better warp core I'd do. Uh, maybe the Dyson one. It's not showing all the warp cores that I've got on here or up in space. Uh, they give you a lot more power output, which is good. I 
do like these these ones here, the plasma injected ones. These are really good warp cores. But yeah, that's the ship. Uh, you've seen it in action. Uh, not the best PVE action that I could have showed it in. But there she is. So that's the advanced upper class carrier. Good overall ship. I like it. I probably got to do a bit more work on it to get it to stay up for one. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll get the next one out to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. <laughs>